What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Malik, and I'm back with another episode of Dear Lee. This is one of the realest advice series on YouTube. If you think otherwise, you can meet me in the McDonald's parking lot, and you can run my fade, because that's how I'm feeling right now. No talking, just hands. But before we get to the emails, I want to push y'all on to how y'all can make some extra cash. Our generation is always on our phone, so why not get paid to be on your phone? It's this app that you can get on Android and iOS called Grab Points. Basically, what you do in this app is you take surveys, you watch videos, and you download apps, and they give you points for it. Once you stack up enough points, you can actually redeem these points for gift cards. They got gift cards to places like Target, Best Buy, iTunes gift cards for my gamers out there. Y'all can go get some PS4 gift cards, Xbox gift cards. They got everything. You can even convert your points to PayPal Cash or we can go straight to your bank account. Once you redeem your points, they'll send you your payment within 48 hours, which is pretty fast. And the good thing about this app, you can do it wherever you are. It's available in all countries. So go and sign up for Grab Points, man. I even got a code for y'all from y'all sign up. When you sign up, it's going to ask you to put a code in. Use my code. It's called Leak, L E E K. Put that code in, get some extra points. Personally, y'all already got me like a couple hundred points, so I hope y'all enjoy it as much as I do. All right, let's get to the first email this might be a little long hey what's up okay basically there's this one man who called feelings hard for me like too hard at first i thought like all right this could work but then i wasn't really feeling it because he was really clingy so he tried to give me three times in a year and a half and i said no all three times you curving like that very nicely because he was too clingy and emotional and so on but now he's trying a fourth time and i don't know what to do anymore because he got worse like one he texts me so much like if i don't answer three minutes he texts me something else Two, whenever I curve him, he says something suicidal like, BRB, I'm gonna drink bleach. Uh, yeah. Yo, bruh, it's actually wild, hold up. Or BRB, I'm gonna go drown my head in water, and I'm like, boy, if you don't get it. And finally, <laughs> he keeps repeating to me, that nice guy's finished last, but I'm like, that's not a nice guy, that's a pathetic guy. A pathetic guy is basically a guy that doesn't give the girl any challenge. That's too sweet, too nice and clingy. Basically, my two questions are, how do I get rid of him or make him stop because it's the fourth time and I'm getting really annoyed? Two, is he a nice guy or a pathetic one because he keeps accusing me of liking F-boys? Anyways, thanks for answering my advice. Hashtag leads to 100K. Late to 100K. Man, this is wild, actually. But look, basically what my man's just doing with using the nice guy's finish last thing, he's using that as like pity points. Like, he's not a nice guy I mean he might be a nice guy but he's using he trying too hard and he using a nice guy's finished last thing as like sympathy like oh please feel bad for me take me in like you know what I'm saying so what I would do is let him down easily again and just let him know for real for real like a hey, um I think we're better off as friends. I don't really think this relationship thing is going to work. Hopefully, he'll catch the memo for the fourth time and leave you alone. Personally, I don't know what he's going through. Because, like, when a girl curved me, when she put the little heat to my feelings, when one of these evil girls out here crushes my feelings, I fall back. Oh, Lord, Lord. I would just fall back, unfollow them on everything. Like, they delete it, bro. I don't even have their number no more. They just, like, they off me. You know, I just forgive and forget. But yeah, that's what I do, and that's my advice to you. But I got one question for you. You said in your email, a pathetic guy is basically a guy that doesn't give the girl any challenge. That's too sweet, too nice, and, and clingy. So I don't think that's a pathetic guy. Like, there's actually nice guys out here. I get played, like, on the, like, I'm too nice card a lot. And that's why I'm a part of Friends Zone Nation, I feel like. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Friends Zone Nation. We out here, boy. Hey, comment if you Friends Zone Nation. Dear Leak, I have two questions for you. This year, I will be going into my second year as a photography student in my high school. Last year, we used the cameras in our class, but this year, we will be required to buy our own camera. What kind of camera would you recommend for me? My next question, I'm a very skinny person, and I'm not very strong. I don't want to lose weight, but I want to know how to get more fit and have more muscular, have more of a muscular body. Thanks in advance. For those of y'all who don't know, I'm a photographer and videographer. It's my car. Uh, focus so I get a lot of questions about like the photography equipment I use and starter cameras and all that so if y'all would like a like a whole dedicated video to just like cameras and what I use comment that down in the comment section below and I'll make it happen personally I use a Canon T6i but a great beginners camera for anybody that just wants to you know get like a little taste of photography and videography it's a Canon T3i it runs for about three to five hundred bucks it's a great starter DSLR great video quality great picture quality it's about like I think 18 or 20 megapixels it has built-in flash manual settings all that it's a pretty great camera to start out with I used it last year when I was in my photography well I have more of a videography class but same thing kind of not really it's a great camera and it's leak approved now for your second question about gaining muscular weight I can relate so much because if you've been watching me for a minute y'all used to know I used to be like insanely skinny like put your finger around my wrist skinny like I used to be insanely skinny but I bulked up pretty fast like I bulked up over a summer like I went from like 100 pounds to like 140 pounds over a summer and it was all muscle I used to be real insecure about you know how skinny I was so 
decided to do something about it and I feel like that's what you trying to do so I'm about to help you out. Basically man, you just gotta eat. I used to eat about five to six times a day. Uh, not huge meals, but like medium sized meals and make sure that they're like meals of substance. I'm not talking grilled cheeses. I'm not talking, you know, like a little petty food. I'm talking like, hey, get you some vegetables in there, get some protein, good carbs, you know, all of that and work out about three to four times a week. Do a lot of weight training, but still mix in cardio here and there. Don't do cardio a lot because cardio kind of makes you lose weight, but do the cardio just to keep your endurance up so you can weight train more. And another thing I would recommend, I don't know how old you are, but I'm guessing you're, you say it's your second year of photography. So I'm guessing you're like 16 years old, is getting you some protein shakes. Personally, I used to use Muscle Farm protein shakes. I used to get the banana cream flavor. Helped me out a lot and it got me pretty big. Now, I'm no expert on like fitness or anything. So some channels that I would recommend that helped me out when I was trying to gain weight, uh, the Hodge Twins and PLG Fitness. For one, both of those channels are funny and they give you quality advice on how to grow your body. Next email, I'm 13 years old, I'm a girl, I'm going to the eighth grade. My cousin is 14 and he's going to high school. So yeah, he's one year older than me. You'll realize why that matters in a few minutes. Well, at least why I think the age matters. Anyways, I've been going to church with my auntie Lily, which is his grandma and he goes to that church. I'm not I'm not nervous anymore and I've gotten used to the area and the people. He doesn't talk to me and I don't talk to him. My auntie even forced us to say hi to each other. He didn't sound like he wanted to. And one time she made us hug. Also on my birthday, July 3rd, he came to have a beef with us after church and we didn't even talk. It was so weird. We didn't grow up together because I wasn't around my father or my auntie a lot and now I am. I can understand that it's a little awkward because of the age difference or just because we don't know each other, but wouldn't he be interested in getting to know me? Do I have to initiate the conversation? The reason he's not talked to me is because I'm a girl and he's a boy. I recently met one of my boy cousins on the fourth and we got along well he was excited to meet me and we changed exchanged phone numbers i really want your help with this because i really want to eventually talk to him and get to know him i just don't know how to make that possible keep doing what you're doing i love your videos and i wish you a good future hashtag road to 100k leap to 100k thanks for the support i can relate to this email a lot because growing up i spent a lot of time with my mom's side of the family so i really got to know my cousins on my mom's side but my dad's side of the family i really didn't get to really start to know them until like the age of like 14 to be completely honest with you but most of my cousins on my dad's side it was always a weird vibe like i know you but i don't know you mostly on that side of the family like i'm cool with most of them like we talk a lot but it's still i have a couple of cousins on that side it's just like yo like every time we link it's just it's a weird vibe. Like about a year ago, we had a Thanksgiving dinner at my aunt's house. And one of my cousins was there that I really don't talk to a lot. Just because he's quiet and like sometimes get like a little weird vibe from him sometimes. Like he's, when I say he's quiet, he's insanely quiet, bro. Like the only person he talks to at family events is his sister. And I really didn't know how to talk to him. I would like to get to know him, but it's just, I don't know how to. But what I would recommend you do is, uh, I think a great icebreaker for any conversation, whether it be your cousin, your mama, anybody, is to show him a funny video on the internet. I see that laughs bring people together. And so maybe that can spark a conversation between you two and that can probably start it all off. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share my videos. Don't forget to go and download grab points and use my code LEAP. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow with a whole new video. And until next time, deuces. And I was so young before I could remember. I would always treat my